This is for the ethics review class at Parker University. The second element of a malpractice claim is negligence. The doctor must have breached the duty of reasonable care. The basic question presented to the jury is whether the chiropractor exercised that degree of care, diligence, judgment, and skill, which is exercised by a reasonable, prudent chiropractor under like or similar circumstances. In other words, you're not required to be perfect, but you're required to provide care that's reasonable, like a reasonable, ordinary, or prudent chiropractor would provide. One of the reasons we see so few malpractice cases in the chiropractic profession is because the expense of proving negligence. A patient typically is unable to testify as a layperson that a doctor didn't exercise the degree of care that would be exercised by a reasonable prudent chiropractor. It becomes necessary to employ an expert witness and that makes it more expensive to pursue these malpractice cases uh, and if the damages are not very large it's simply not worth the expense of hiring an expert witness. Uh, typically in these malpractice cases these sides will hire competing experts. Uh, the doctor's side will hire an expert to say the doctor did not breach the standard of care and the uh, patient's side of the case will hire an expert to say the doctor was extremely careless and didn't come close to meeting the standard of care in the profession. Uh, those expert witnesses can be extremely important to how the case uh, is ultimately resolved, how they uh, conduct themselves in presenting reports and in uh, uh, handling depositions and how they conduct themselves in testifying at trial can be very critical. So if you are ever involved in a malpractice case, you want to be involved in the process of choosing the expert. And sometimes if the insurance company or the attorney is trying to find an inexpensive expert, you may want to suggest that they need to spend the money to hire the right kind of expert who will handle the case the best. Another question about experts is what about medical doctors testifying against chiropractors? Remember, the standard of care is what would a reasonable, prudent chiropractor do, not what a reasonable, prudent medical doctor would do. Is it appropriate for medical doctors to testify against chiropractors? Generally, what the courts have said is if the topic of the negligence is something that is within the scope of the practice of medicine, then the medical doctor is qualified to testify against the chiropractor. Now, if there's something uniquely chiropractic about the standard of care in this particular case, then the medical doctor may not have the qualifications. But the reality is, typically, a court is going to allow a medical doctor to testify against a chiropractor. That means it's going to be fairly easy for the patient to find a medical doctor to support their case. So, for example, even though most chiropractors would probably agree that chiropractic adjustments do not cause strokes, it's fairly easy to find medical doctors who will testify that a cervical chiropractic adjustment, a rotary cervical chiropractic adjustment, may cause a cerebrovascular accident or a stroke. Uh, and that does make it a little bit easier for the patients, but it's still expensive to hire those experts. So it's going to depend on the testimony of experts to show that negligence has occurred.